What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jasmine Dillon here. Now, if you guys have been following my videos or the CRV updates, now you guys know that the CRV has ended officially on October 23rd, 2021. However, one of the key stats that Christian Freeland pointed out when ending the CRV was that she was saying that 100% of the jobs that were lost during the height of the pandemic have been recovered right now compared to 75% of those in the US. Now, in today's video, we're going to discuss and we're going to analyze this particular stat that Christian Freeland mentioned in Ottawa and see if that is actually true or not. Now giving you guys a refresher as you can see the document I made for the last video you guys can see here that the CRB has been cancelled officially by October 23rd 2021 and the new uh, benefit that has been introduced the Canada worker lockdown benefit will be offering $300 a week which is basically the same as the CRB however subject to provincial lockdowns depending on which province are you living on and how they're handling the fourth wave or the fifth wave if there's to be any. Now, the main statistic that we're analyzing today and which is one of the main reasons why the CRV has been cut is this one that I mentioned in the beginning of this video that 100% of the jobs that were lost during the height of the pandemic have been recovered compared to only 75% of the US which Christian Freeland mentioned in Ottawa. Now, again, a quick another recap, the CRSP, which is the sickness benefit, and the CRCB, which is the caregiving benefit, both of these benefits have been renewed unlike the CRV up until May 7th of 2022. Now for today's video, we're analyzing this particular article that mentions a worker in Florida applied to 60 entry level positions in September alone and got only one interview. Now the reason why I chose Florida is because much like the CRB here in Canada that got cut this past Saturday in October, the benefits in Florida got cut this past June of 2021 and people in the news and in the newspapers have been advertising a lot of labor shortages. So this particular individual in this article actually conducted an experiment to see if actually those labor shortages those job postings were actually real or not so uh, this experience is for the US now for this video I want to uh, I want to actually know what has been your experience like looking for a position looking for a job so let me know in the comments down below because this is for the US and I actually want to know your experiences here in Canada so the summary of the article goes this way businesses across the US say they're struggling to find employees especially for hourly work which is exactly Exactly the same that is happening right now and the media is advertising a lot of labor shortages here in Canada. Joy Holes decided to test their claim submitting two applications a day in September. Holes got one interview and his summary of the experiment went actually viral on multiple platforms. So let's actually take a look. So he says that over the next several months as a growing chorus of businesses said that they couldn't find anyone to hire because of government stimulus money, in our case the CRV or the CERB, it was so ubiquitous that he joined a no one wants to work Facebook group where users made memes writing frustrated employers. Now he continues saying that he said that he found it hard to believe that the government money was keeping people out of the labor force especially when the end of the expanded federal unemployment benefits here the CRV or the CERB did not seem to trigger a surge in employment. All expanded uh, benefits ended in September but 26 states including Florida ended them early in June and July. He mentions that if this extra money that everyone supposedly living off of stopped in June and now it's September, obviously that's not what's stopping them. He said, workers have said companies are struggling to hire and aren't offering competitive pay neither benefits. So in short, what is happening in Florida right now is one step ahead of what just happened here in Canada. In Florida, Joey Holes, who conducted this experiment, is mentioning that if those benefits are keeping people from going actually to work and those benefits actually ended this June, this past June of 2021, and now it's September, the unemployment rate is supposed to have decreased. However, that is not the case. Now, let's take a look further into what was his experiment and what did he find out. The article continues and it mentions that on September 1, he sent job applications to a pair of restaurants that had been particularly public about their staffing challenges. Then he widened the test and spent the remainder of the month applying to jobs, mostly at employers vocal about a lack of workers and tracking his journey in a spreadsheet. Two weeks and 28 applications later, he had just nine email responses, one follow-up call, and one interview with a construction company that advertised a full-time job focused on a site cleanup paying ten dollars an hour and as we can see he made actually a pie chart of the 30 of the sorry of the 60 applications 
with 73.3% of applying and not even receiving a reply, only 20% receiving an email apply, 5% receiving a phone call, and only 1.7% receiving an interview. Now let's continue taking a look. He said construction company instead tried to offer Florida's minimum wage of $8.65 to start even though the wage was scheduled to increase to $10 an hour on September 30th. He added that if wanted full, they wanted full-time availability while scheduling only for part-time. Now he is not alone in this race. He said that I didn't apply for anything that required a degree. I didn't apply for anything that said I must have six months experience in this thing. Holes isn't alone as I mentioned. Others have also spoken about their troubles finding work despite the seemingly tight labor market now advertised around the US and also around Canada. The article now ends by mentioning that his results may not be representative of the larger labor markets in this country since his research was local and targeted the most vocal critics of stimulus spending. In this case, in our uh, Canadian case, the CRB, he added that despite the claims that of some businesses struggling to hire, his boss had no staffing issues during the pandemic. Nobody leaves these positions because he takes care of his people referring to his boss so relating this to Canada now it'll be good to see what the CRB cut will do to the labor market whether the unemployment rate will decrease and more and more uh, people will enter the labor force as Christian Freeland now has mentioned that a hundred percent of jobs has recovered compared to 75 percent only in the US now if we take a look over here let me actually open up my uh, laptop and this spreadsheet that I made for last video and it mentions that 289 billion Billion dollars were spent on wage and business support subsidies throughout the pandemic mentioning to what Christopher Freeland had to say that a lot of these benefits such as the CRV the CERB were supposed to be temporary benefits and were never introduced as a measure of a permanent measure to help Canadians throughout the situation they were only supposed to be temporary again because to help Canadians go through the heights of the pandemic without them having to worry about how are they gonna feed their families how uh, are they actually gonna live on a day-to-day -day basis how are they going to pay their bills so those were the reasons why majorly the CRB was cut now it'll be good to see what happens here in Canada as the CRB has just been cut this past Saturday and we'll see if the unemployment rate actually decreases or not so instead of the CRB now as you guys know the CWLB has been introduced which is the Canada worker lockdown benefit paying $300 a week and the uh, and there's a contingency actually to these benefits being given out to citizens of Canada and the only contingency is that if we go into another lockdown that is only and only when you guys can apply for this benefit compared to the CRB which you guys could apply if you have not a job or if your EI benefits have been expired or if your caregiving benefits did expire throughout this whole pandemic now the only benefit that is available for you guys is whether we go into another lockdown and then you could apply for the CWLB which I'll make further videos on how is this uh, whole thing gonna work uh, in uh, in my next few videos but this again this benefit will be paying out $300 a week and we'll see how it will impact the labor market here in Canada so that was it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video and you found a new perspective to this uh, particular stat that Christian Freeland mentioned that 100% of the jobs have been recovered from the height of the pandemic but if you found today's video valuable make sure to smash that like button as that again really helps me out to reach out to more and more people like yourself and actually grow this channel and if you have not subscribed yet make sure to tap that red button and turn it into gray now that was it for today and i'll see you guys on the next video on the tripod